Here we go again. Manchester United has issued the following statement in reaction to today's judgment by the European Court of Justice on the European Super League. Our position has not changed. We remain fully committed to participation in UEFA competitions and to positive cooperation with UEFA, the Premier League, and fellow clubs through the ECA on the continued development of the European game. On the other side, Christian Eriksen is itching to get back out on the field after overcoming injury. When asked if he could be back soon, he told club media, Yeah, I hope so. Like you said, it was the first part in training with the team on Monday, and it felt good, so it's going well. I think it's always annoying to be on the side, no matter for how long and definitely now. When it takes a little bit longer than you wished for, then obviously it's hard. But no, I was eager to come back as soon as I could. Meanwhile, Paul Ince has claimed that Manchester United should rival Liverpool for Lautaro Martinez and Victor Osimhen. He told Dazen Bet, Lautaro Martinez and Victor Osimhen would be two players who have been looked at by Premier League teams, particularly Osimhen, whose relationship with the Napoli owners has become a bit fragmented. Darwin Nunes and Rasmus Hojlund aren't clinical finishers. Martinez and Osimhen are. Domenico Berardi would also be fantastic in the Premier League. Mana don't have an identified striker at the moment as Marshall, Rashford and Hodgland have hardly scored this season. You need a striker who'll get you at least 25 goals a season if you want to seriously challenge for trophies. Rashford achieved that last season by scoring 31 goals and it resulted in United getting a Champions League place. That's how important a clinical scorer is. I'd say Nicolo Barella would also be a great fit. United needs someone like him in midfield, elsewhere. Owing to injury, illness and suspension, Eric Ten Hag patched up his side in the build-up and they earned a decent point against their biggest rivals on Sunday afternoon. Focus will now shift to quick-fire matches against West Ham, Aston Villa and Nottingham Forest, all in the Premier League before the new year. United will welcome Bruno Fernandes back at the London Stadium after his one-game suspension but compatriot Diogo Dalot was sent off in the Liverpool game. Here's our roundup from the treatment table. Ten Hag has said, he will not be available for the coming games, but we don't think it's long term. Anthony Martial not injured, it's illness. His returning date is December 23rd, United versus West Ham. Casemiro injured hamstring. The predicted return date is January 2024. Ten Hag has said, he was injured just before halftime, during the Carabao Cup game against Newcastle. That's why we have to take him off. Mason Mount, injured a calf. His return date is unknown. Ten Hag has said, There are players on the way back, but I can't give a prognosis on how long it will take. Mason Mount is returning on the pitch, but I don't know how long it will take, in this moment. Lisandro Martinez, injure foot. His predicted return date is January 2024. Ten Hag has said, He has to go through the same process, and I'm really sorry for him. The squad will miss him. As you know, we have more injuries, so we always have to deal with it as a squad. As a club, we have to deal with injuries. He has to be strong. He will fight back, I'm sure. He's a character. Terrell Malaysia. Injured a knee. His predicted return date, January 2024. Ten Hag has said, Terrell had surgery, but he will return in quite short notice. From the new year onwards, he can be available. Meanwhile, while. There are also other who are recovering at Carrington like Ahmad Diallo who was injured, knee, while Victor Lindelof injury is unspecified. Again and again. Dimitar Berbatov has urged his former club not to pursue a striker in the January transfer window despite being linked to Feyenoord forward Santiago Gimenez. Instead, he's backed Rasmus Hoyland to come good, telling Betfair, of course his goal drought in the Premier League is worrying. It will be playing on his mind, but he needs to keep going, and goals will come. At the moment Rasmus needs support from everyone around the club, because you can see he's trying hard to score. Some people are saying that United should look to bring in another striker in January to take some pressure off him. Doing that can go both ways. In what way can another striker help him? And what will the other striker's role be? Is he playing ahead of Hodgland? It would get complicated. Meanwhile, 
Manchester United are set to drastically change their protocol for contracts, with Jadon Sancho in danger of being the first player axed. The Red Devils are expected to shake things up when Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos complete a 25% takeover at Old Trafford. British billionaire Ratcliffe, 71, will assume control of football operations at the club. And according to Sky Sports, one of his first decisions will be to take a more brutal approach to player contracts. This will see them become more open to terminating contracts in a bid to be a culture-focused club. This will mirror the approach taken by Arsenal in recent years. The Gunners have severed ties with the likes of Mesut Ozil, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and Nicolas Pepe, rather than trying to recoup a transfer fee. And Sancho, 23, who has scored 12 goals and provided 6 assists in 82 games for Man United, could see his contract terminated as one of the first individuals cut by the new regime. The English winger has not featured since August, after a public spat with manager Eric Ten Hag, where the forward claimed he was being made a scapegoat. He has been linked with a return to Borussia Dortmund, as well as a switch to Saudi Arabia. A move elsewhere could be facilitated by Man United ripping up his deal, which runs until 2026. Meanwhile, the club are also looking to stop handing out unnecessary contract extensions. Man Unit have been guilty of providing players with new deals in a bid to preserve their value. It has resulted in them being unable to sell unwanted members of their squad due to high-wage demands. Clauses that state the option of an additional 12 months will also not be triggered unless deemed absolutely necessary. Man Utid hope this new approach will enable them to sell more effectively and subsequently improve their position when it comes to purchasing players. But football director John Murtaugh recently revealed it is unlikely much business will be conducted in the upcoming January window. Speaking on a club fans forum, he said, there will always be the possibility of deals around the edges of the squad, particularly in terms of finding opportunities for players who are not playing as much football as they would like. However, we've always been consistent in saying that we do not see January as the optimal time to do business, and our recruitment strategy remains focused on summer windows. We've seen this season that financial fair play, FFP, rules have real teeth, so we have to be very careful to ensure that we remain compliant, and we will. But that means being really disciplined on spending going forward, with a balance between incomings and outgoings, again and again. Manchester United have suffered a blow in their hopes of signing a new centre-back. Everton star Jared Branthwaite has been linked with a move to Old Trafford as a result of his superb performances this season. But the Red Devils may struggle to capture their man anytime soon, with reports suggesting the 21-year-old will cost a fortune. According to the Eye, the Toffees have slapped a £100 million of price tag on the England U21 international.